it's highly, highly, highly effective at helping you to reclaim your time and actually your life. Hey, it's Chris. If this channel's been known for anything over the years, it's probably for helping people discover truly unique and useful apps they never would have encountered otherwise. And today, we're gonna see if the magic's still there. App number one today is called Qbox. It's a PKM, or personal knowledge management app, with some really nice, really unique features. But the thing to know is that it's designed to be your all-in-one content collector where you can effortlessly save anything. Your own ideas and notes, websites, articles, newsletters even, via a custom mailbox. But what I really love here though is the immersive reading experience. It's got customizable style, layout, and font options. So not only can you save and read your long articles, but you can highlight and annotate those, and then also never forget stuff by making use of the really extensive widgets. Power users are gonna love the deep linking, there's image to text, there's an import mode, there's a web clipper, iPad multi-view, and importantly, lots of integration with other important apps. Oh, and it also works on all your devices. There's even an Apple Watch app. That's nice. Now, subscribers to the newsletter already know about all the apps I'm gonna be featuring today because I like to find and feature my favorite stuff there first. So if you wanna know about stuff ahead of everybody else, then check out the newsletter, it's linked up down below. But app number two today is called One Sec, and it's as close as you're gonna to get to a miracle app ever. And the reason is, it actually does make, in reality, really distracting apps less appealing, which is important considering that the average person today spends 17 hours a week on social media. That's almost a full 24 hours one day out of every seven days, that's crazy. So the way it works is that it delays distracting apps and websites by inserting some friction. So when you tap to launch an app, it's gonna trigger a screen that makes you consider if you really wanna spend time there. And it'll also help you think through, did I tap this due to boredom or was it just an impulse or was I stressed, etc.? with the end result being that you do things very intentionally and you're not just getting sucked into these apps and they're actually using you instead of you using them. So it might make you follow a dot on the screen with your finger for 10 seconds before launching an app. Or it could show you a blank screen for 10 seconds first. Or it's got a few other tricks up its sleeve, but things that make you think twice. And because of all this, it's highly, highly, highly effective at helping you to reclaim your time and actually your life. There's a reason that it works, it's science back, so it actually changes your habits. As long as you're brave enough to want those habits changed, that's the thing. But I really like that it has focus sessions, that's great, and it's cool that you can visualize your progress with charts and data. So I highly recommend this if you feel like you're not making good use of your time, because it can lower your app usage, by 57%, which is a really big deal. And if you wanna put that time to better use, I also highly recommend that you check out my productivity course, Learning to Be Productive, which is gonna help you get more done in less time with less burnout in the Apple ecosystem. I'll link it up down below, people are loving it. I'm getting a lot of feedback that it's changing people's lives, it's just what they needed. Let's check out something fun next before we get to another app that's really powerful. This is Vibes. It's an app that's inspired by video games that helps you focus by pairing really cool visuals with dynamic music to help you be less distracted. So think back to some of your favorite games, maybe Breath of the Wild or Halo, and think about how the music impacted that experience. As the map changes, as you enter a new area, so does the music change. Maybe you're fighting a boss and the music starts to amp up and all of a sudden you're more alert, you're definitely more immersed. Well, that's kind of the idea behind this app, except it applies to your work. So what this is at its heart is intelligent focus music that reacts to your activity. And what's really cool about this is that the music is composed in real time from over a thousand musical fragments and sounds to create a living composition that never repeats itself and never gets old. So it's always fresh. You know, I've been a big user of Brain.fm over the years, but it does get repetitive and it doesn't have any cool visuals. But something else I like about this is how laid back it is. You literally tap it once and it does its thing. It just adapts as needed. You don't have to think about the settings or tweak anything, before you get going. Oh, and it has spatial audio, it's got a timer, it's got widgets, and it has some achievements that you can unlock. Speaking of achievements you should unlock for yourself, have you grabbed a paper-like screen protector yet? Or maybe the paper-like folio case while we're at it? Now you've heard me say it a million times, I just don't like using the Apple Pencil without my paper-like screen protector installed because it just doesn't feel right once you've gotten used to it. That's how good it is. Now if you also want some protection that has the look and feel of your favorite art notebook, then the paper-like folio case is sturdy, it's got a microfiber interior, it's got a great great oversized flap that secures your Apple Pencil for transport. So if you're interested, hit that paper-like link down in the description as soon as the video's over. But up next is the next app that's up, and it's a modern-day reader app that's enhanced with 
AI. So aside from a great interface, there's really nothing you can't save here. Articles, newsletters, social threads, podcasts, videos, PDFs. And then you can also get AI summaries of the content that you save. That's kind of par for the course these days for these sorts of apps. But what I really appreciate here are the features that are designed to help you actually read stuff that you save. So you've got reviews, there's some shortcuts, there's daily picks to highlight stuff for you. There's quick access to get right back into whatever you're reading last. Basically, this app eliminates the Read It Later app black hole. Other cool features here include the ability to annotate both podcasts and videos, so you can basically take notes while you listen or watch, which is pretty unique. And then there's a cool list feature, which is a great way to organize content around particular topics. There's also full text search, an image viewer, a focus mode, email digest, the ability to export annotations, and lots more, so super feature packed. And I've actually ended up liking this better than Readwise's own Readwise Reader app, because it's just a better execution of a similar idea idea, but what's interesting is this still syncs with Readwise proper, the original. So you really can get the best of both worlds here. By the way, I know a ton of people are gonna ask, so I'll just say, the wallpapers are linked up down below. Another cool app I think you should check out is called Side Notes, which might sound familiar if you're a Mac user. That's because this is the iPad companion app to Side Notes, which was originally a Mac app that let you take notes on the side of your screen. Now this is a standalone app, of course, on the iPad, but if you do also use the Mac version, especially if you have a desktop, then it's really nice to have those Mac notes available on the iPad, obviously. So it's a pretty simple but full-featured notes app, if that makes sense. It doesn't have too much stuff cluttering it up. There's the things you'd expect. You can drag and drop pictures in. It handles to-dos. There's markdown support, etc. But I think what really stands out here for a lot of people is just the design, the aesthetics. It's as straightforward as you can get, but you can customize the colors. It just honestly looks really nice. Now, if you stuck around to the end of the video, I got something pretty special to show you. I don't really know what to make of this. When I first encountered it, my mind was kind of like, what is this? And then I started to wrap my head around what it could do, and I was like, oh wow, I can't wait to tell people about this. So this is called Data, and it will let you replace Siri with ChatGPT. And it works everywhere, your phone, computer, car, home speakers, and yeah, your iPad. Basically, we'll just call this a prompt framework, and it runs privately on your phone, sort of lets you turn Siri into Jarvis. To really simplify this, it's a collection of shortcuts that you purchase and run on your device and then interact with, you chat with it. So you could call it the data shortcut suite, I guess. But it can do everything, it can create a Notion page, it can text you, it can summarize your documents, all the usual AI stuff. It'll create spreadsheets and documents, it'll transcribe audio and video, it can handle Python scripting and execution, content creation, content scheduling, draft and send emails, send calendar invites. I saved this for the end because it's not really like an app proper, but it fits. I mean, the people who like this video are gonna love to dig into this and tweak it and make it useful. So there we go, the latest iteration of cool iPad app discoveries that hopefully make your iPad better and more worth it. Let me know which one is the app that made you be like, wow, how did I live without that? Check out the course, truly, the feedback has been that it's changing people's lives, so check that out. I don't want you to miss out. And above all, I think the lesson of this video is get yourself subscribed to the newsletter because you're gonna know about all this stuff ahead of everybody else that's just waiting for a video every six months or whatever it ends up being. Thanks for hanging out today. So much cool content coming up, so get subscribed. I'll catch you in the next video. Later.